What I realized people think being an influencer is a personality. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. <laughs> Welcome back to our channel. Studio 8 Eats. Yeah, Studio 8 Eats. Our first installment of Studio 8 Eats. So we're just gonna do this. It's a mukbang, obviously. Um, but like we're gonna do like a mini series called Studio 8 Eats where we're gonna discuss and wine You know, we're gonna discuss, eat, have some wine. It's just gonna be like a discussion. You're gonna kiki with us while you watch us be fat. Yes, honey. Yeah, no, not that. <laughs> Never that. So you're just gonna kick you with us. So today's topic is we're gonna start off with what should we start off with? Um, unpopular opinion, YouTube South African YouTube edition. Because yes. I mean what that's what we're gonna start off with. We're gonna have a lot of unpopular opinions, but we're gonna start off with that. Mm -hmm. Alright. <laughs> Listen, we well the point we were trying to have like a lot of unpopular opinions like a couple in this one video. Yeah. But also this one is a whole topic. It might even be the whole video because oh, wow. An entire chat. Oh, and by the way, guys, I'm having. Sorry, you probably gonna see the food. I mean, I'm having pizza. Mm -hmm. and I wanted to get pizza as well, but like they didn't have vegetarian pizza at Dino, so I was like, you know what? It's fine. Okay, see you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And a spring roll. Well, we have two spring rolls. What else is there? So, um, since there was no vegetarian pizza, which is weird. I'm just gonna, I'm having fish and chips. Because fun fact, Honda is vegetarian or pescatarian. Pescatarian, let me say I'm pescatarian. Yeah. I'm just gonna have fish and chips and two spring rolls. Mm. And, you know, my adult juice because, you know, I am legally an adult. I'm 20. Oh, I'll Sorry. be having water as well. Just do uh, my exit up. <laughs> and juice. If you guys follow me on Twitter, if you don't, oh, yes. what are you doing with your life? popular YouTube edition? Yeah, I think. Also, because there's just a weird sense of Nah, we're not gonna support this person or nah And it's not even just about just support It's about, I don't know if maybe people are putting out content that's relatable or whatever And people always have this idea of just South Africans just have this weird It's like a sense of self-hate feel like a sense of oh, self-hate definitely Like I don't know what you're doing with the self-hate thing, like, mm -hmm. when it's time to support each other, y'all get shaky. I don't understand why y'all get shaky. So, first of all, this is a very new space. Mm. YouTube in this country is a very new space. It's been there, but it's starting to get popular now. Everyone's hopping on the YouTube train. Shop, and I get everyone's hopping on the YouTube train. And y'all, what I don't like is when people say, oh no, the content is the same, it's always girls doing makeup, blah, blah, blah. But then I saw which people- Which isn't a lie, which isn't a lie, because there no. are a lot of girls that are- that They are. Because I feel like makeup is probably the easiest thing to start doing. Most, also, maybe the most relatable thing people can do to get a lot of viewers and subscribers. And mm. and I and I say, you know what, girl, do your thing. If you want to be a, if you want to have a makeup YouTube channel, don't stop because a lot of other people are doing it. So our our content space is so small anyway. A lot of people doing the same thing is not really gonna make a difference. I mean. I mean, our industry is so small, we're just starting. So what if people, a lot of people are having the same types of channels? It's not really bad. You pick and choose who you like and who you relate to the most. Yeah, I, I definitely agree with that. I feel like... Also, this is weird oh, channel of life. That's what I say. No, it's not bad. Mm -hmm. I feel like there's also this weird... The culture in South Africa where it's like... There's this weird envy or jealousy. I don't, I don't know what to call it. This weird sense of... Know. I think I agree with you. People are jealous of the ones with YouTube channels. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. actually, no, I'm gonna be honest. I think, actually, I think it's it comes from, I think it comes from in, like a place of this person is pushing and they're pushing in a way, in a sense of, I could do the same thing. I could also do this, but I'm not, and this person succeeds. Let's be honest. Most of the haters who hate on a lot of South African YouTube channels are the ones who actually really want to start their own YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But they don't have the guts or the, I don't know what they're scared of. I mean, Genuinely, there's so many people who are like, oh, I want to start a YouTube channel, I wish I could start a YouTube channel. I'm like, really? It's not that deep, dog. You literally just take out a phone, take out a camera, you record yourself, bada bing, bada bang, bada boom. I mean, it's not that deep. And people who like your content will most definitely find your content. And I think, exactly, I think also that's the problem. When we say support YouTube channels, we're not saying watch all my videos. Baby boy, baby girl, you don't have to watch all my videos. I don't need you to watch all my videos because I know you are most you are most likely not my target market, to be quite honest. And you're not the niche that I'm trying to approach and the niche that I'm trying to get. What I would appreciate and what all of us would appreciate, maybe if on Twitter 
I post, hey, I just posted something, maybe a young retweet, or maybe a young mention, or maybe put me on your WhatsApp status, so that, that, so that the people who are interested in the type of content that we make can find us. If you get what I'm saying. Because sometimes, I would lie on YouTube, you can search for something, but it's very hard to find people, yeah, especially for African. You can search fashion, it's very hard to find fashion stuff, and there's actually a lot of good fashion YouTube channels, and they're just they're starting up. Yeah, I definitely agree with that, and also, but in the same sense, we're not just gonna just co also, guys. You never know that you might not like someone. I've had a lot. I've had a lot of people say to me, "I'm not really into thrifting or gathering." Mm -hmm. just like, "I know this is not really my content, but I enjoy watching it because it's good content." Like sometimes, guys, it's not even about. Um, please don't judge me for the way I'm eating my spoon roll because. I get what you're saying about the thing. Because I also, for example, there's some makeup videos that I always watch. Mm -hmm. I know good and well, I'm not gonna do my own makeup, but mm -hmm. it's so interesting watching them, I'm not gonna lie. Mm -hmm. But also, there's also the other side of, you can't look at it like one side of the, from the creator's perspective, you have to mm -hmm. look at it from the consumer's perspective, that sometimes there's really not content out there. And also, the creators must be able to stand up and have, okay, there isn't a lot of. Things. Let me try and be creative about what I'm doing. Let me try and be. Mm. Yeah. I mean, okay. If you are going to call yourself a creator, I think that's a very valid point. I mean, sure. If you're going to call yourself a creative, then be creative. Don't do the norm. Don't do what everyone's doing and do it. I feel it's very hard to do your own original thing. But for me, what makes you original is doing it the way you do it, mm. adding your personality. Mm adding what makes it important to you. That's what gives it individuality and personality. That's what makes it distinctive from other makeup channels, other fashion channels, other vloggy channels. It's your personality. And when people want to watch you, they want to watch you because of you, not what... I also realize that people, when people like want to watch you, they want to watch you. Okay, it depends. There's spectrums. Because you know there's... Okay, I'm not going to throw shame. But for example, you know that hand that calls us outside of his body. The unrelatable hand. People want to watch her, not in a mean way, but people want to watch her stuff because they like her lifestyle. Yeah. For me, I'm not going to lie, when I watch her stuff, it's because I genuinely like the type of lifestyle that she's living. It's not mm -hmm. because I find her relatable mm -hmm. in any sense. And that's also another thing. I'm popular in YouTube edition. Relatability is very important. In this country, you know what I realized? People think being an influencer is a personality. <laughs> Sorry, but it's true. In this country, people really do think being an influencer is a personality and... Baby girls, I'm not even gonna and lie. Also, Most guys, what are you influencing? Actually, what are you influencing? Like, what are you? What's your impact on life? Oh, unpopular opinion, influencer edition. Yeah. First of all, what is the definition of an influencer? I have my own definition, and it's certainly not the same one as the one that's being sold on being marketed right now. I'm mm -hmm. really, What's yours? My definition is somewhat. It's literally like the same textbook definition of influencer, mm -hmm. not this recent thing where it's about. I don't know how to explain it, I can just use my hands. <laughs> like you guys are getting this. But anyway, uh, also, can I just say something? This is, this is a real unpopular opinion. Mm -hmm. But anyway, um, I feel like there's this thing in South Africa where they have the same creative over, creatives over and over again. Or influencers, whatever, especially by the fashion space or anything. It's just. They hire the same people over and over again. I'm not, I'm not complaining. I'm not, I like those people. I genuinely enjoy their content. I just feel like some of them could have been better in another space. Not space, like another campaign. Sometimes I feel like the campaign oh, like actually, no, specifically for that, like that person is a brand and their campaign that they are part of. Oh, no, in this country, most definitely. It's like they use the, the same are not communicating. Not communicate there. but also so in the same breath i understand that also that the, the creative space the creative space and this the influencer space in south africa in, there's not a lot of opportunities there isn't and i understand that if you were I, if, personally if i was to be in that space and there'd be like a specific and i was in a specific niche and that like mm. if i wanted money girl are you gonna say no i definitely understand i'm not gonna say no 
Oh, you mean like that thing of like hiring the same people over and over, over and over again? I'm not gonna turn it down just because someone else feels like you guys are always hiring. I'm gonna use the example of. I'm gonna use the example of Samizi, for example. Yeah. How Samizi got hired? Actually, Samizi is almost everywhere. There was a period in time where Samizi was literally everywhere. DSTV. Yeah. Commercials, yeah. Idols, SA, yeah. Had your own reality show, but that's yeah. maybe that's a different story. But fine, had your own reality show, mm -hmm. and then you were the one that confused me the most, Vuzu. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, v Entertainment. Yes, V Entertainment. That confused me the most because when I think of V Entertainment, personally, it's for the youth, and I don't understand why. So music well, in I'm youth no more. Hmm? So I think it in youth no more. That's the point. That's why most of the time they used to hire youthful presenters or presenters that. And that's, I used to love the entertainment so much because it provided such a different. It was missing. The entertainment is not the same as what you can was say. Yeah, because you can say no. We had um that other one on ACBC one with that hand that I don't like. The one, one that was named after a game. Oh, what's it called? Zure Kielo. Yes, that hand. <laughs> ah man, live amp. No, not live. live she was she pretend something besides live man. Yeah, man, with Fat Joe. Oh, the real Gaboza. The real Gaboza, yeah. Oh, I felt like one. Vuzu and the real Gaboza were the same sort of top yeah. market. Just the other one was just more refined mm. and more like it was just. I, I just really liked the entertainment. Okay, I don't know how old Mushi is, for example. I don't know how old he is. But he does also cater to the young audience. Mm, no, Mushi is a bit. She was for back then. Yeah. Look at that. Now our. Generation, I'm not so sure. She was there when we were 12 year olds and 11 year olds, and when the 15, when the 18 year olds were there, they're probably like old and have kids. Yeah, they're not. But what I like, they also introduced you know, Shamiso. Mm, she's a new so. like presenter there, and that, that actually made so much. Someone like Shamiso, for example, that made so much sense, yeah, in terms of the youth. I want to see more people like Shamiso, mm -hmm. even oh, even I like I would love them to have Shamiso's friend. What's her name again? Lanzi, yes, people I like that so to be much. presenters. I would love it because it makes more sense, and I feel like, but also in the same sense, you can't just say just because you like someone, they're not gonna, they're not, that does not mean that they're gonna be good no. at your job. <laughs> At this point now, it's not about being good at your job. Okay, it is about being good at your is. job. But it's also it also is. being relatable to your audience. That's true. Honestly, for me, it's been... Because if I think about it now, who watches V Entertainment? Even with the people who are on V Entertainment, mm -hmm. some of their guest people, they have a lot of old celebrities that we don't know of. There's, maybe there was once or twice where AKA was there, Ricky Brick was there, people that are more relatable to our Ooh, generation. Child. Ooh. But like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> also, is the South African entertainment industry on its own is a very tricky one. Messy, it's another and messy. It's a whole chat. Unpopular. Comment opinion. down below if you wanna have on our next episode of Studio Eight Eats. Comment down below if you'd love to have, for us to have that chat about the South African industry, the entertainment industry, because wow, a mess. It really is a mess. Especially the, you see there by acting, everything is just a mess. Acting, music, videos, everything. And by videos, mm -hmm. I mean like um. YouTube videos, series, content, there are series, soapies, everything is just a mess. You know what I realized with that now? It's not that this country doesn't have the talent, it's that it's not being showcased. Because we're so used to open up the industry, guys. No, but also in the same breath, guys. Open up the industry. Why I wouldn't say open up. up. No, not open up the industry, make your industry. I don't agree with that. I agree with that. I don't agree with that. Because don't. first of all, mm -hmm. why are you relying on these people? To open up the industry for you, I feel like they the have no industry, power to open. The, up. the industry already in by itself is just so tiny that even if you try, like you can't, you can't. You need the connections. You need the connections. Can't you start your? I think you can start your own industry. I do only think you can. Something as small as even YouTube. Please watch. I forecast that this something South African YouTube is gonna be so big and the rap entertainment industry because everything's also moving online. Who still watches that? For a letter decoder thingy anymore. Let's be honest. Oh, who still watches those four letters anymore? Maybe people still watch. Maybe people still watch. We have to acknowledge. We have to acknowledge that there's um, a large section of South Africans are poor and unable. They don't have access ah. to those things. Ah, no. ah, everyone can afford DSTV. Everyone cannot afford DSTV. Did you know that DSTV wasn't a luxury like back then? Now it's like a staple. No, it's a luxury still now. Just even I'm telling you, this when I like to compare, I'm even sure there's another thing. There is, but that, but that's not the point. At the end of the day, my point is, let me just say, my point is, with everybody everything, it's also, with also like, let's say YouTube, mm -hmm. that was expensive. 
True. Data is expensive. You can't. You cannot take it away. That data is really, really expensive. And this event is a work. There's a way. Even I watch my videos, I watch them. No. But anyway, mm -hmm. my point was. Why am I taking away? Don't leave. No, I. No, Let's I, be I, honest. I, most of the YouTubers. I'm gonna be honest. Most of the South African YouTubers right now are our age group, varsity age group. That's why mm -hmm. most of the popular ones are our age group. Yeah. People who have access to Wi-Fi because of varsity. And if you look at all the female YouTubers that are in now, like your, my examples, your Sneep Songos, your ZX Online, your Sadis, your, 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 your Lanzi Kamas, your, there's probably others that are, my, your names are escaping me, I'm so sorry. Z. Yes, ZX Online. Those are, things like those, if you think about it, they're our age group, and they're also the varsity age group, and I think that's also the talking market. And I think that's the best market to actually start and launch off YouTube. Because it, it is a more of a young people thing. Not like too young, like moderately, moderately young. Not like who's old in the car. Girl, I. Girl, I have. Guys, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys for whatever. And I'd like to thank you for subscribing. Thank you for subscribing. I'd like to thank the new wave of subscribers. Thank Welcome you. Welcome to. Whatever, welcome to this the weirdness. It's welcome. a very uh are you gonna say welcome? Oh. <laughs> it's a very, 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 very inclusive space. We love everyone mm -hmm. unless you're a bigot or a homophobe or a transphobe and all uh bigoted in any way. We'd like to thank everyone that helped us shoot, helped us whatever. Thanks to our friends, our family. Thank you to everyone. <laughs>